Welcome back to Remote Sensing Applications using ArcGIS. This week we'll work with a sensor called MODIS. And MODIS has products that are available as global tiles. So we'll start by working with a normalized difference vegetation index product from one tile. And these tiles are available free for downloading and they're 10 degree by 10 degree tiles. We'll work with a tile that's vertical two and horizontal 11. So this tile here is in interior Alaska. So since these global tiles are in a sinusoidal projection, when we reproject them into some regional projection like the Alaska Albers projection, they're going to look kind of strange. So here's that tile that was originally in the sinusoidal projection. And then basically for every pixel that's a clear sky pixel, we have the normalized difference vegetation index for each one kilometer pixel for a 16 day composite period. So our first exercise will look at four 16-day composite periods and look at the quality of this NDVI data during the, the period of spring green up in Alaska. Okay, another product that's available from the USGS is a product called eModis, and that's available for the lower 48 and for Alaska. Here's an example of an eModis normalized difference vegetation index product. So it's already in the Alaska Albers projection, and it's based on a seven-day composite compared to our global product, which was based on a 16-day composite. So what we'll do in our second exercise is we'll assess four composite periods, so basically four weeks of NDVI during the spring green-up period in Alaska. And this eModis product is available at one kilometer pixels. Okay, in the last exercise this week, we'll look at the MODIS global product for the vegetation indices available at 250 meter pixels. So, for example, this is the tile H10V2, so horizontal 10, vertical 2. And here's the tile horizontal 11, vertical 2. And here's the tile horizontal 12, vertical 2. So what we're going to do is we'll mosaic together the high quality NDVI pixels from these three tiles. And then once we have the high quality NDVI pixels mosaic together, we'll reproject those from this sinusoidal projection into the Alaska Albers projection. Okay, so here's an example of that mosaic that's been reprojected into the Alaska Albers projection. So now since it's in the Alaska Albers projection, we could ask questions about the NDVI during this composite period compared to ecoregion polygons in Alaska. And we'll do that as our last exercise this week. Okay, so if you go to the Blackboard website, the first video session will be about the MODIS sensor itself.